grouped frequency tables example one. So the height of 20 basketball players is recorded below, and they want us to represent this data using a grouped frequency table. And this is our grouped frequency table below. This column that says class also means the same as class interval. Okay, so. Uh, when you do this, you really want to try and figure out what's the smallest number and what's the biggest. So I believe the smallest number is 174, and the biggest number I can see there is 194. So we want to range between these numbers. So we'll start with our first class interval, 170 to 174. We always like to start on a zero, right? And then 175 to 179, 180 to 184. 185 to uh, 189 and then 190 to 194 right now we don't need to go any further than that because there's nothing beyond 194 notice that we never skipped any okay now you also notice class center class center just means what is the middle number between 170 and 174 so in this case it's 172 now, if you're not sure how to calculate that, what you can do is you can add the two numbers up, 175 plus 179, put it in brackets, and then divide your solution by 2. That will give you 177. All right, you can test it out if you like. Then we're going to get 182, 187, and 192. Now, the class center, we're not, you're not going to really understand why we do that until a bit, bit later on. All right, then we've got our tally, right? So it's really useful to use tallies before you do the frequency in case you miss a number. So we've got two 174s, so two tally marks. Um, there's a 177 as well. Let's put three down. Okay, then we've got numbers from 175 to 179. I can see a 179 there, um, a 178, that's two. Um, Anyway, let's move on to the next one. We might have to come back to that one, not sure. 180 to 184. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, 180 to 184. This one, this one, this one. So there's another 3. 1, 2, 3. And there's a 183 there. So about 7 so far. 185 to 189. 1, there's 2 there. Um, 186. 187 and 188, so 1, 2, 3, and then we've got um, 191, 192, and 194, there's 3 there, 1, 2, 3. Alright, they're all crossed off, so I'm quite happy with this, I think we've done it right, 2, 3, and we know there's 20 basketball players, so let's add them up, 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 7 is 12, 17, 20, alright, that's all together 20. So this can be our total. Total is 20. And, and we're done. Now they do have a question which says what conclusions can you draw from this data? Um, I would just say we noticed that most of the basketball players were between 180 to 184 centimeters. So that's, that's something we can say most of the basketball players, so we'll say the b-ball players are from 180 to 184 centimeters.